Hey, welcome back to me being cheap. In this video, I'm going to make a blueberry pie recipe that was featured in a YouTube channel that I watch. That YouTube channel is called The Fundamental Home. Here I'm describing some of the ingredients that you'll need to make the pie, such as vanilla, blueberries, a pie crust, sour cream, butter, an egg, salt, And next is flour, that's actually the sugar, and flour. The reason why I'm doing this voiceover is because my kitchen was actually pretty noisy. So I was just filming as I was making the pie and then I'm coming back and doing a voiceover. This is actually a can of blueberries that I had been figuring or trying to figure out something to do with for a long time. If you use frozen blueberries, you're going to want to thaw them, that is a colander, and drain them. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. First, you're going to start off with your sugar. I was using white sugar. It's three quarters of a cup is the amount that you want to use. Oops, look like I've used up the last of the sugar, so I'll have to go get some more eventually for the second part of the recipe. Putting the sugar aside. Next, we're going to do the flour. That is a tablespoon that I'm holding. We're gonna do two tablespoons of flour. I like to buy my sugar and flour when they're on sale and stock up. That's usually around the holidays. Next is sour cream. I actually had two partial cartons in my fridge. I was glad I found this recipe because that gave me the opportunity to use it up. You need eight ounces or one cup of sour cream. And here I am scooping the sour cream from the two cartons into the measuring cup. Again, one cup of sour cream or eight ounces is what you want. You're going to mix these ingredients together. I mixed by hand. I think the original recipe says to use a mixer, but I just mixed it by hand. You have one egg. This egg is laid by my chickens. I have plenty of those, so I'm always looking for recipes to use up eggs. Add the egg to the mixture. Vanilla. That's a vanilla bean in that bottle. And I believe that's one and a half teaspoons. Mix that together. Salt. Nothing fancy, just table salt. This recipe was actually pretty easy to make. So I've got all that mixed together. And now I'm going to add the blueberries. Now I thawed those, I rinsed them and drained them. And here I'm trying to show you the paper towel that they were draining on. Remove that, set it to the side. And fold in your blueberries two and a half cups. That was a combination of canned and frozen blueberries. Again, I was looking for a recipe to use up that can of blueberries, so I was pretty tickled to find this recipe. That's what it looks like when it's all mixed together. That's an unbaked, that's an unbaked pie shell. I was lazy. I got the prepared pie shell from the store. 
you can make your own. Stump that in there. Scrape your bowl out really good. Going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. I put it on, I believe it was the top shelf. Yep, top shelf for 30 minutes. While that is baking in the oven, you need to make the crumble layer for the top. You're going to start with your flour. Just put this in a bowl. That's a tablespoon, two tablespoons, and three tablespoons of flour. Now you'll start with your sugar. Or I guess second will be your sugar. Again with the tablespoon. That's one, two tablespoons of sugar, mix that together well. I just use a fork. Next for the butter, that's going to be one and a half tablespoons of butter. I'm marking it there by pressing my knife into it before I unfold the paper wrapper. And then as I cut this butter, I'm going to try and cut it into relatively small pieces. I'm going to drop these pieces into the bowl And then I will mix these pieces of butter as best as I can with the flour and sugar mixture. That's going to make the crumbly layer that goes on top of the pie. You'll want that butter to be chilled, by the way. You're just going to mix it up. I just used a fork. Just kind of mash it together until it's nice and crumbly. Here's the pie after it's cooked for 30 minutes. I'm going to put the crumbly layer on the top. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. Once I add the crumble layer, I'm going to pop it back in the oven, same temperature, for 10 minutes.